Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 63 of What's That Pepper series. Today, I have another cross of my own, and this is called the Scarlet Rose. And uh, I've done a review on this already last year. It actually looked better than uh, the, the early season pods right now, but I have a few uh, more out there that are absolutely gorgeous, so I may have to revisit later this season. So the Scarlet Rose is basically cousin to the uh, the Lemon Starburst. It's a it's a cross between a an MOA and a Bahamian Goat also. So I think it's a, it was the reverse cross. I I, I don't quite remember, but uh, it, those are the two parents. So here it is. The reason I call it the Scarlet Rose is because this particular variety has an extremely long stem. Uh, all the fruits look like this. So when you flip the fruit upside down, it looks just like a, a small rose. So that is the reason why I call it. And it has this really cool uh, red color. Uh, it, it's all like maroon once it's fully ripened, but uh, it'll change uh, you know, over time from green to yellow to kind of orangey color here. And then finally this reddish, very, very bright red. And then if you let them stay for a long time, it becomes this ruby, sort of like a maroon color. So here is the Scarlet Rose. Uh, these are the two early season pods, so they don't look as good as they, they are supposed to. But I do have a few green ones that look absolutely gorgeous, so I will show you that as well. So let's go outside and have a look at the plant, and then we'll come back and have a try at this. All right, guys, here is what some of the Scarlet Roses look like. They're all mixed up in here, so it's kind of like difficult to get in there to pick the fruits. But um, you see there, there's a red one there. I, I don't know how long it's been there because uh, it's kind of hard to, to see through there. So I'll, I'll try to pick a few good ones so we can see it. Uh, it's a very nice looking plant. Um, they do much better at lower temperature, like between 75 to 85 degree Fahrenheit. Um, currently, we are reaching the hundreds, so they kind of like uh, struggle a little bit. A lot of the buds dropped, and as well as the fruits uh, have not developed. But a few of them are are kind of ready, so we'll we'll get a few. So I have uh, about I think two or three plants in here. They can get pretty big. Okay, so we'll try to get in here and pick some fruits, but uh, let me show you what some of the shapes look like. Uh, they're cousin to the lemon starburst, so uh, they, they look somewhat similar. There's one. Oh man, this one looks pretty bad. I think it might be damaged already, but um, there's another one in there, so let me try to get it. There it is, a decent shape, not too too nice. I have some other good ones that I like that are not ready yet. So, there's one right there. And the shapes I like are usually like a bonnet shapes. So, I don't, I, I can't get down here to show you, but there's a few. See this one here? That's a good shape right there. That's the one I, I really like. And they look like that. You see it? Nice bonnet shape. They're kind of flat at the bottom. A little bit different than the Lemon Starburst because the Lemon Starburst has a stinger. So this one is just nice bonnet shape like a flying saucer. So this is the, the exact pheno that I always save. Okay, I picked uh, two here. So... Uh, Let's go inside and test out these not so pretty pods. Okay guys, here are the fruits. And uh, the plant are really productive. Uh, it can produce a ton of fruits if uh, given the right condition. Right now it's, it's just too hot, so uh, the plant are kind of struggling. And uh, you notice the wrinkly leaves, and that, that's usually due to um, and the stress uh, of the season because it's just so hot and then I have to water it and then the water dries up and then it go, becomes hot again. So the leaves is kind of curling a little bit 
Uh, a few people suggest uh, feeding it calcium to try to fix the problem. I did that and <laughs> it didn't uh, do anything. It, the, the leaves are still wrinkly. So I think later on the season, uh, once it's cooler, it, it should fix uh, the problem. But I, I have fed uh, the plant uh, calcium if you guys are wondering if I, if I have done that already. Okay, so here are the, the two fruits that I picked. Uh, one is really ripe and one is semi-ripe. But um, they, they don't look as pretty as the green one that I showed. But the characteristic of the, of the fruits are um, uh, pretty unique. It's, it has this bonnet shape here, but a bunch of bumps all around. And then uh, it, it, it's shaped like a saucer. And then at the bottom, it has a, a, a rounded uh, um, indention here or a rounded uh, lobe kind of in a way, uh, as you saw in the green one. Uh, this one is not quite like that yet, but uh, it still has that cool bonnet shape. And uh, the, the bumpy texture is what is so unique about this. The bonnet shape looks like a flying saucer with a bunch of bumps. So it looks pretty cool. Again, I, I forgot the gloves. <laughs> so I'll cut this open and let you see. I'll, I'll cut both so that uh, you can have a look. You see how long the stem is? They, they all look like this. So this is a semi-ripe. Wow, you see how crunchy that is? A nice thick wall. So, wow, it smells very tropical. Yeah. There, there's some heat in it too, I can detect a little bit. Yeah, it does smell a little heat, but uh, semi-floral has a little um, perfumey smell. Uh, a little bit of it is, is good, but too much I don't like. And this one has, look at that, this, uh, the, this one has uh, very little seed, like a, just a few. But the inside is gorgeous, it's, it, it looks like, like nice and crunchy and juicy. So a very small placenta on this one. Uh, this one as well, not, not, too, not too big. Uh, which is uh, what I like, the placenta sometimes can get very bitter. And sometimes it could be sweet, so it depends on the variety. Um, some of the hotter, hotter variety, the, those can be a little bit bitter. So um, let's actually let's test the, the ripe one out because uh, that, that looks better. Wow, very nice and crunchy. Uh, let's give it a smell real quick. Yeah, smells uh, like a very sweet bell pepper. A little bit of the Scotch Bonnet tropical scent. A uh, little heat, you can detect a little bit of it. So let me smell the the red, the red one. See if it's the same. Yeah, same, same, same scent. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, guys, uh, the Scarlet Rose, and as I mentioned earlier, it is the cousin to my Lemon Starburst. These are my two. Uh, absolute favorite variety because they're very pretty to me so I'm very proud of these uh, these two crosses and uh, not only are they uh, very pretty to me they also taste really good too so uh, I use them a lot for hot sauce and when I make salsa um, for dipping chips or eating uh, uh, breakfast tacos or just tacos in general these are my secret ingredient so <laughs> okay so um, Yeah, it smells very, very sweet. Nice tropical scent. Kind of remind me of uh, a regular Scotch bonnet. And the a little bit, yeah, kind of Bahamian goat. They all kind of like have a similar scent. Um, it has I, I detect much more sweetness in this than the, some of my super hots. Okay, so here's the the redder one, so, which is the more ripe. Wow, very sweet. The sweetest pepper I've tasted this season. No heat yet. I mean, there's a little burn, but... It's, it almost has a, a fruit sweet smell, but you know, it, it's not like super sweet like a fruit, but for pepper, this is extremely sweet. Uh, it has a little bit of heat. Wow, not too much. Very good flavor. Let me, let me try a bigger piece, like half of this or something. So uh, this variety was bred for taste. 
Uh, I, I, as I mentioned, I, I love the MOA and the Bahamian goat. It's, those are my absolutely favorite um, varieties just to eat and just to do anything with, make hot sauce and all that. So um, I, I bred these for my own. Um, for guys, if you are crossing peppers, pick your favorite and then uh, cross it one way and then also do it the other way. You'd be surprised that they, they may turn out uh, semi-different and then uh, the flavor profile might also be different. So don't just cross it one way because then you may be missing out. Okay, so here's a bigger piece. <coughs> wow, too much liquid. <coughs> the fume kind of gave me that choke. Mmm, extremely sweet. As I mentioned, it's probably the sweetest pepper I've had this season. There's heat, but um, it has that scotch bonnet heat, but sort of like a reduced uh, amount of heat. Uh, throat burn, and then, you know, it gives you like a whiskey chest, warm around here. But it, it um, for me, <laughs> if I say it's not hot, it's not, it's not too hot. Great flavor though, wow. Uh, this would be a great um, pepper to make uh, just a, a mild sauce for all your friends uh, because most people can't really eat the crazy hot so this alone uh, would, would make a great sauce. Very good flavor, man. I can't believe how sweet that is. It's almost like a when you when you cut an apple and you just slightly lick it so that that type of sweetness yeah i'm 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 very very proud of this because uh it, the taste is exactly as i want it the the looks and everything about the plant is uh is what i was uh hoping for so um man i'm i'm just uh Upset, a little upset that the, the fruits are not ripening fast enough. I wanted to show you the actual nice, uh, good pheno that I want. I mean, I, I showed you the green one, but that's exactly how I wanted to look. I wanted to try and show you guys on camera. But uh, we may have to revisit. Anyway, guys, uh, that, is, that is all for the Scarlet Rose. Um, I have more videos coming up, so I will try to release them anytime I have time to record. So I have the Linzo pepper coming up. I have some white habanero. I love those white habanero. I'm growing, um, uh, let's see what else. Uh, the Hornet, uh, the Hornet looks so ugly right now. I, I kinda don't wanna show that. And then I also have uh, some ghost pepper, but those are not doing anything right now. And then, um, Bikinos, yes, <laughs> I've done a video on the bikinos before, but uh, I have two plants grown right now. They're starting to produce pop flowers. I, I can't wait to try those. I just love those things. They're awesome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.